Hello and welcome to How to Win Casual. Today, a bit of a demo review of me playing Engineer. I played this yesterday and I also didn't do a stream on Monday like I should do with the GCP because I wasn't feeling all too great and it's hard to be entertaining when you're not feeling too great, but I'm better now. So, I'm gonna be playing as Engineer on this 5 CP map, which is sunshine. I'm gonna be fast forwarding a bit certain places like I normally do. I just go through my emotions and what I do. So right now I destroyed my sentry and rebuilt it at the front there. I'm going to be capping. Of course, this is actually 39 minutes so long because this map never ended. So enjoy with me this ride. It will be slightly less than 39 minutes long because... Yeah, so we start off pretty, uh, pretty strong here. We, we get the point. That's a spy. I should have probably died to that stab there. Current loadout is shotgun and a pistol. I will be switching it out as I feel necessary. Right now I don't have a good feel of what the enemy is doing. However, I do have the most important things up as an engineer and that is my teleporter and dispenser. It's pretty important if my team was able to do anything about this. So nice little strafe there. Try not to be too predictable. And if you're wondering why the screen froze, just because I alt-tab to be able to do this. Predictable. So we got that going, and I see medic here, and I didn't really choose my target too wisely there. I'm gonna die, die down here, I think. Yep, die to this medic, it's not really important. So we just took the teleporter back. In action, we can see that the enemy team is moving on. It's still only level one, because nobody on my team has ever decided to go and do something about it. Dispenser gets destroyed, instantly rebuild it. We have a medic here, so it's Alpha Omega that we get this thing going. So we might be able to to get the job done and push the enemies back. And then we have a spy who gets brutally murdered. And then we have this going on. So I'm just gonna work on this, you know, doing base infrastructure work. Just gotta do that work on the teleporter because if God no one else is. Despite this only takes them like a few seconds to help the logistics. So, still just waiting for that, just gonna get everything to level 3 for maximum efficiency. Not that anyone has ever used this, and of course this is a little trick you can do to prevent getting yourself stabbed, is just to check your back when you're whacking. I mean, when you're whacking it, be sure to check your back so nobody sneaks up behind you, that's very important. And all the Americans had a little chuckle. So of course, spy. Of course you don't need to repair it, just to remove the zappers. Also, try not to stand on top of the uh, teleporter exit, because if there's a spy coming through, he will telefrag you. So that is the thing here. So I'm gonna go with my pyro friend here. I'm not going by myself. I saw someone behind me. If it looks like a spy, acts like a spy, it's your teammate. So just put up a little forward sentry there. I know that if I put it out in the open, this soldier man is gonna be able to take it down. I have a lot of soldiers. So I gotta be very peculiar about where I put it. So I'm trying to battle this scout. Pyro comes in and he, it's like he's been watching the show. He knows what to do. You just move the mouse back and forth. That's all you do. At any point in time, this man could switch to engineer and save my teleporter. But he's thinking about it and it doesn't matter because our spawns changed and now I'm here. So then it's actually faster for me to repair that. Repair that. Build it back up. Destroy the entrance, rebuild the entrance, pick up this stuff, destroy the exit, and go over here. And of course now my team is pushing and whatever forward advantage we had is now lost. I'm just gonna put out the exit there in case I die and then I will be able to rebuild my entrance to get this teleporter up. Without the Eureka effect, it's a pain in the ass. However, having the Eureka effect will not ha let me have as much health as I have. And there we go. I'm building a sentry there and this pyro is on my ass. I die and my sentry is just now activated and gets destroyed instantly. Okay, resume. There we go. And now, my uh, beloved uh, teleporter exit is still present, so I'm gonna destroy the entrance and rebuild it here. And I'm gonna upgrade it. And then I tried to, you know, switch my loadouts and stuff, but it wouldn't let me for some reason. So that's what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to do it, so I'm like, fuck it, and my exit got destroyed. So it's always fun when that happens. I just put down an exit, because why not put down the sentry there, because it is a good scout denier, but there's that guy again I knew was gonna do that. So now we're in a bit of a bind. Uh, we have some people pushing the point, checking my back for spies, getting killed on a medic for some reason. Wait for this medic as well. And then he dies to a butter knife. Of course I didn't get any assist for that because I did no damage to the medic according to the game. But still the enemy is capping and I'm gonna try to get up here and do something about it. And then we die to this Mungo guy. 
But uh, at least my teleport is level one, and we got people just hanging around in spawn. And they're almost capping. This is bad. So we get that scout, we put this up so it covers the point. And then, you guessed it, work on dispenser. Pick up this, and then we run into a pyro that just literally just walks into our base because there's nobody on our team occupying any space. And you can see the demo that was behind me takes forever to go in the front. As you can see, there he is, finally. And then we run into a pyro, and then you hold that S button. But luckily, I have a dispenser here that he could use if he so desired. We're gonna get that to level two. We're gonna exit there just because. Give him points. Engineer just literally just walked up to the point. Just that's all he did. And now the rest of the team is gonna utilize this strategy, which is of course to attack at any point in time. I wish they could do, however, many sentries and sentries are good against scouts regardless of skill level. This guy could repair my gun, but uh, no, he gets destroyed. So that's also a thing you should keep an eye on when playing engineer, is to keep an eye on your fellow engineer's buildings. So look at those, and the way you get the way to do that, the habit of doing so, is by playing medic. It's the same with a heavy and throwing sandwich. People, the best heavies that can throw sandwiches also plays medic, because they have that instinctive thing to check their, uh, their teammates' health. There we go, just contemplates building stuff. Here comes the rush of scouts. Luckily, we have our forward sentry, and... This scout survives somehow. <laughs> Didn't have a lot of health, neither do I. Build a sentry, retreat. Move the teleporter in a direction where you want your teammates to go. We got an engineer who is protecting the, like, the last point isn't even open, I realize. So we're gonna move it up to this point and try and defend this while the level three jerks are back at last. That isn't even open yet. Still holding. Still holding in, here comes a soldier who holds S when he's attacking, that's the wrong button, you hold W when moving forward. I'm tempted to make like an episode where you're forced to bind, like whenever you hold down the mouse button. Oh, did you see that jump? Landed right on the health pack. That's what you call skills. i juggle, and I only survive a little bit, trying to get this sentry up. From my friend, going back to grab this health, working on this dispenser, get that to level 3. Right now, this is in no spot for it to be of any use to anyone. And I do move my teleporter. The sentry gets destroyed, putting it down again. Going back here, running into scout. And there's a spy. I know the spy is there, but I'm battling the scout. And right now I made a mistake to go for the scout instead of the health pack. I thought I did more damage to him, but apparently I didn't. And this engineer was on a bit of a cruise there. And now they're capping. And now finally, the level three sentry on last. I'm not sure if it's here still. Nope, it's not here. But we now have a heavy and a medic, and we're still struggling. Uh, keep in mind, no, neither team has capped or anything, so we're just going to build dispenser there to allow our team that isn't using it to go forward and do this. So we're just going to peek. We see that you just move forward until you see the enemies, and then you try and retreat. You die. And the other team's capping, and then they cap, and you lose. You can't see my score, but it was a lot higher. It was, I think it was more than double of the guy on the second team, and I'm an engineer. So now I decided that most of my problems that I had in this fight was that I'm running out of bullets, and I didn't really build all that much, so I'm gonna switch to the Widowmaker, because I felt that my aim was on point, and therefore I will have infinite ammo. So the same as last time, building the buildings, pick up this ammo. Spending unnecessary time running there. We can see the enemy team is capping, so I'm just putting up the sentry here to then put it down later because it does build faster once you've already built it, so I'm gonna put it here, and that's a spy, so I'm just gonna ignore him for now. And then get a couple of kills, I went two for one there. So if, if everyone can go two for one, um, you wipe the enemy team. Pretty much. Uh, except the medic though, so maybe someone has to go three for one or something like that. But now, of course, um, we have to defend this again because our team isn't really doing much. We get the spy, or puts the sap on the gun, but I am just gonna repair it, because it's super cheap to repair it, and there's that scout. Would've been embarrassing if he killed me there. And now the enemy is pushing our last again. And this is where the hold of dreams starts. So I'm gonna have to just work. I can't really do much right now. If I go out, I die, because there's no backup on my team. And now I finally see my teammates here. We have a little posse here, but they are going on the right-hand side, and the left side and the middle downstairs is completely open. If a spy came in here and sapped, 
he could potentially take all of our stuff down and then capture, but he doesn't do that, so we just go out and attack at any point in time. And you can see it's very effective. I mean, the enemies will die if you just keep doing that. Um, and then we die too, but you can see at any point in time, just whenever you feel like it, you can just go forward and attack and occupy a space, and it's very important. So now we have captured this point, so that I just like, wait, wait a second, there's no point in defending this. I'm gonna bring my dispenser because my level one mini sentry is not usable. I don't care that the spy is there. So we're gonna put it down in this spot again, put out some mini sentries, get the buildings going. There's a scout there, he's working on my sentry, and that's gonna be annoying for him. So before we got destroyed, I don't care because we're just about to capture and we're gonna have forward response, which is right here. But before I deal with that, I gotta take care of that scout who got away. So there we go, and we're gonna be moving this, putting the teleporter down, grabbing this, and we're just gonna go keep moving forward. We might even get even a forward hold, now that you can see that my team is actually attacking and I'm not the guy in the front all the time. I'm actually being able to do the role of support engineer, getting dispensers up, teleporters, all that kind of stuff. I feel like I made a mistake not going and getting the teleporter, but... And if I would have been able to start that, um, repair while the scout was shooting us because I don't think a scout's able to destroy a mini sentry um, while you're repairing it because keep in mind you do have some damage reduction to buildings. Believe it or not. So we kill this scout and we rebuild in the exact same spot and so far Widowmaker has been working pretty well for us. So I built the exit. There it is. And then it's time to get the entrance going. It's not that far but every little bit helps. I'm not going to spend time upgrading it because I want to be present in the field. I'm just going to repair it. And then you can see that it wasn't good I spent too much time on that, so we're just going to keep moving forward. I'm not going to bother bringing my teleporter exit because it only costs 50 metal, so I'm just going to put it down here, put it here. And you can see we have a nice little setup here with some good buildings. But right now, it's like my team is too far forward. I'm not where my team needs to be, but I'm very careful of pushing forward because there might be a pushback. So I'm just going in and seeing like, oh, what's up? Okay, here, so I'm just going to put down a forward sentry. And then we're just going to go and join this attack here. And we do get one kill, and uh, wouldn't you know it, I'm not in the top three because my team actually did so much work on their own that there really wasn't that much for me to do. Um, which was great. So at this point, I was feeling lucky. I, mean, I was like, man, we got this on the roll. We got heavies and medics, and we're just crushing them. Uh, but there's still a lot of time left. We're at 17 minutes, and the game ends at 39. So this is going to be a doozy. So... We currently, I'd say, destroy them pretty hard uh, this round. So now when everybody wins, they're like, Oh yeah, that was great, but how about we not do any of that again? How about we just screw the composition we had, we all go sniper and spy, because it doesn't matter if I switch, right? And there comes the pyro, and that's a good little precursor to the thing there, and he does the thing, and for some reason the dome man is unable to land a 22 damage shot on him. Because he's using the Islander and not an explosive guy, because he's a fucking idiot. Anyway, I'm not I'm not salty or anything, because this happened in the past. I was fuming when this was happening. And then, of course, since nobody's going to upgrade this for me, I'm going to do it myself. So switch to the Jag, upgrade his hair. I'm just building a dispenser just so I have something to carry with me. I'm not going to bother upgrading it all the way. And you can see it times out pretty perfectly. Um, doing that, so now I have a dispenser for metal replenishment. We also have this point. There's a pyro. I'm like, well, this sniper might be a trouble for our heavies that we no longer have. But if we had them, it would have been no problem. So we put the exit down here. And now I'm going to be a bit of an engineering. So you notice I'm actually not shooting right away. And right now I have the high ground. Oh! Oh! The random crits and the double soldier kill. Oh shit, a sentry. Shit, shit, shit. Well. Isn't this a predicament? I'm now behind enemy lines. What do I do? I, well, I put down a teleporter. And then I sneak around. And I get on the point! Because the heavies that might actually spend a longer time getting to me from there than if I were to waste some ammo and eat a pipe. From Fatty Jr. God, you're so fat. But now, luck's on our side. And wouldn't you know it, the teleporter I put down, I can now put to good use. So I'm just like... Yeah. Asking for help, but that's not gonna happen. But now I see that the enemy team is recapping. So what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna take this teleporter 
and put down I'm not gonna put down anything I'm just gonna go around and I'm right now I'm just waiting for the uh, the teleporter residue to vanish so people don't know that I have a teleporter here so I'm just waiting yeah, it's gone and now I'm gonna have a look and I run straight into a heavy and he had overheal as well uh, there was a medic there we can see the heavy survived but luckily teleporter is still active nobody knows that I'm that it's there for now so that's great and I'm just checking around I heard that someone said like spy base or something then we're gonna work on this get that to level two I think our spy I found out. I don't think he's here. I think he's at the exit. So here's the thing you should be very careful about. When you're going through the teleporter, there might be a spy behind you. So you can see the first thing I do is turn around. Um, most likely I shouldn't have the teleporter be facing against the wall. But uh, next time I would definitely do that. So we get some metal from this engineer. I'm just going to put down a bit of a uh, defensive sentry up there. Pistol shots, surviving with barely to uh, any health. Picking this up, teleporter still active. It's only level two. Luckily, uh, it's a bit of uh, pain in the ass here. And right now, I'm looking up to not get uh, stabbed there, as you can see. So now we're gonna bring the dispenser once again. I'm just gonna have it here, as this area is a bit sketchy. And then I somehow misses that scout completely. I'm dead, but that's okay because we do have teleporter, and the exit got destroyed. But it doesn't take long before I'm running back. And that's a mean little sentry. So we have a teleporter down there, so I'm gonna put a teleporter here. And then start on my dispenser. You can see that the enemy team has a pyro. That somehow doesn't hit me. But then the enemy team just attacks. Uh, whenever. Trying to get anything with the scout, can't really do it, so I'm just gonna rebuild my dispenser. I'll work a little bit on my teleporter. Just doing base construction. So, Spy got my sentry, but that doesn't really matter because I have enough for a new one. There comes the heavy. I'm like, all right, the heavy's going to come out here pretty soon, right? So grab this, put this up. We have a sniper with a bow here, and we have a healing sword, so we should be able to take him down. So I run right up to his face, and I get hit by a rocket. You know, I do not count on getting hit by a rocket when I'm trying to get a heavy. But regardless, teleport level one. That was going to be level two. I'm going three. This other guy. He's actually upgrading it from the other side a little bit, was he? No? Oh, I must be seeing things. Could have sworn the engineer was there looking at my stuff. And unlike other games, the engineers in this game can actually help each other. And we have a spy. And fun fact, Demo Man, you can catch up to a spy if he's faster than you. Just with a bottle. Yeah, he's still charged. Is he, wait. Is he really? Yep, still chasing him with the bottle. Still chasing him with the bottle. All right, that's fine. All right, just doing pistol shots on the heavy, hoping to God someone else helps me. And we do take him down, but the enemy uses the strategy of attacking on our flank and takes down all my buildings again. But now we have three engineers on attack, so surely now we could expect teamwork on that front. But there's still only one teleporter uh, two now with mine. But mine got destroyed. So I couldn't kill that guy fast enough. Demo man running the wrong way. If it looks like a spy, acts like a spy, and moves like a spy, it's your teammate. And then putting down this again, we see the guy and... Predictable! Nice tracking on that guy, because he ran in a straight line. This pyro is mine. Didn't even go for the health back, probably did. It's not the pyro that's been killing us all this time. So I shouldn't have sh started shooting that early. I should actually have waited a little bit. And here I should have dropped a sentry. But, uh, oh, I'm gonna die because I got surrounded and they had overheals and I was alone. So that was a bit pain in the ass. Still, my team. Gonna build a teleporter here now. Gonna get to the front. Here we are. Keep running forward. That's a spy that I lost immediately. But then another runs into me. And then we run out of just in time, but my sentry saved the day. Wait. And that was my dinner. Mm. Tomatoes and tortillas. Tomato. Mashed, mashed tomatoes and tortillas and tuna. That's what I had for dinner. Man, isn't that interesting? Got so much going on in my life. Playing near. 
being mad at my teammates. Is that a spy? No, he just acts like one and moves like one. Of course it's a teammate. So let me go over and try to get the drop on this medic right now. I'm like, fucking ignore everything else, including my ammo count. And then, now I have run into the cases where I've actually run out of ammo a couple of times using this weapon. So now I believe I'm switching back to the panic attack. I haven't really tried the panic attack that much on engineer after this, but... Using it for just a little bit, I can deduce that uh, this weapon sucks for engineer, and you should never use it. But we're gonna do an analysis on that anyway, so right now I'm switching. Because the spray is just too big and I have to get really close and I don't really have the tools or mobility to do so. It's more in for like pyro and, and heavy for the most part. No, I mean, not being heavy, I mean soldier. Like, panic attack soldier is ridiculously good against uh, heavies because you just hit with every single pallet. And you're jumping close. You do like a sort of like a bomber rollout. So right now, working on infrastructure, getting the logistics of my team in order. And so you just keep working on that. And of course, yeah, don't help me or anything, even though you have the Eureka effect, you jerk. So then we go and put this down in the corner. See that the enemy has like a sentry here. I'm trying to gun it down. I saw a flame. Someone's gonna come. And this sentry, what does this shoot even? It doesn't even cover the bend, you idiot. Look, guys, this Spencer got killed, and you're just... Oh, you left the good. Let's see, does the sentry get destroyed? You might. And I'm gonna battle this demo man and do some strafing, and he runs out of there. With his medic in tow, building that uber. And I'm just stuck running around the middle point, scavenging for ammo and teammates. So, the Spencer just finished up. I'm gonna be working on this, heal myself up to full health. Scout your memo. Get the scout, and there comes the heavy. And sometimes when you drop a sentry, the heavy will focus the sentry and not you. So you could use that as like a hundred HP buff kind of thing. It's uh, most effective against scouts because scouts are shit against sentries in general. So you can just plop that down. And it kind of forces the scouts to either either deal with you or something like that. And if you have it on a bind like I do, I have mine on the mouse wheel button. Then you can just plop it down whenever and. Building starts building immediately and you know just switch back to your weapons you can keep shooting while it finishes up and then a heavy comes through and I'm like well I'm gonna shoot this guy says, oh hello devil man strafe do not be predictably strafed this is the longest time it takes for this health pack to come back and then the head pyro gets it and I'm like hey sure you can have it I'm just gonna go back to my to his chocolate I'm gonna build a sentry here. I'm gonna run all the way to the other side of the map just to get helix because we don't have a medic. It's just my dispenser that isn't here yet. There he is. So this is why I hate Sunshine. Or Sunshine is a great map. This is why I hate my teammates on Sunshine. Usually because nothing ever gets done. All right, you saw. You see that pyro? Do you see that? Rewind the video if you didn't see that. He basically saw the heavy and medic, and he's like, "Well, I'm gonna retreat to our last." And just turn ahead. There's so many people who just run backwards at the sight of enemies. No! You see, he's still here. He was at the choke just a minute ago, and I don't think he's a spy. Because he's acting like a coward. You see, there's nothing here. We can just go. At any point in time, we can just go forward if we so. Oh, that's entry. Okay, no, we couldn't. We couldn't actually do it right there, but we do have a demo man who could take that out in an instant if he so desired or saw it. So I'm assuming that. If he saw me run into it and die, you can see we have a lot of pyros and a lot of demo man. Spy sapping my stuff. Not sure where he is. Jiggle, he got the stab on somebody. It's always good to watch the kill feed to see what's up. And just wait, 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 build this, build, 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 nobody's using this because nobody's here, I gotta move it, just gotta check if everything's clear. Spy, do not interfere, for I am an engineer. Alright, so we're working on this, yep, yeah, gonna move this a bit closer, and we're gonna move this even closer, put this in the corner, yep, yep, where everybody can see it, make sure that people see it, and now they've decided to attack! And we get this engineer who we've gotten a couple of times. And now we're get, oh, so the sp I saw that the stuff disappeared. It was a spy. I didn't see if it was ours. So I just try. I just try and go for it, man. I just try and I almost made it to the top, but then I saw there were some sticks there. It does force them on the defensive a little bit. 
if you decide to, to do that. Let me just check something here. Yep. There we go. And building teleporter, gonna run out. God, it's like five CP with teammates that don't know how to push either way. I mean, we, we know how to push, but we're just not doing it right. And they're also not helping. It's like, we see, like the other demo saw that other, probably didn't even see the demo fighting the scout. But your first instinct should be like, somebody help that guy! And then you go and help him. So that's the spy, and of course, when there's danger, you just always drop whatever you're carrying. There's no point in getting killed by carrying a building you're trying to save. It's always better just drop it on the ground. So then we're just gonna put down a little uh, dispenser. That was a loud audio. Just gonna just hit a button by mistake. And then... This demo man isn't attacking at any point in time, he's just hanging around the hallway. Did he move in? I'm not sure, it didn't look. Oh look, he's there. So we're gonna go around this flank and see a pyro that is gonna catch up to us despite... Engineers and pyros being about the same speed and we now got a level 3 fortifying the defenses and we burned to death because I didn't think the afterburn would last that fucking long. <coughs> Of course, and I, I'm now upgrading your teleporter. There's three engineers, and neither of them know how to fix t teammates' teleporters that are working. Yeah, come on, Mink. You probably even don't, you haven't even heard of the control key. Control key, does that make me move better? Yes, Mink, it does. When you hold control, you get better movement of everything. So I ate a rocket, and now we're here again, doing uh, pot shot damage on the soldier that has overheal, just to try and take that out. Putting down a mini sentry. God, I was fuming at this point. Maybe I wasn't. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing a bit. And now again, I'm in the front. Gonna go back to my dispenser. It's probably just a little bit too far back. Just a little bit. So my sentry's taking some damage. We get people just hanging around. And it's like, what, what the, was that? That's my sentry? And it's like, oh shit, is his building burning? Fucking repair that shit! There we go. Fucking repair. I don't care about my gun, I'm gonna try and get this soldier. But he wasn't as weak as I thought he was. And then repair this 36 metal to repair it fully in one hit. That's pretty good. So we're gonna go and try and go on this side. And oh! This is how I'm helping! You see how I'm helping? See, I got the gun. All me. It totally wasn't the uh, splash damage of the demo man and the explosives to help us kill it. There we go. Still have we have enough teleporters. I'm not gonna bother upgrading my level three because right now we're 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 pushing in. We're really really trying, and I'm doing a bold move. We're like, right, well, gonna move this even forward so the retreat route is even shorter. I mean, we got pyros for this control. We also got a soul, uh, engineer that doesn't know that right click removes rockets. This gun's about to go down. Um, but I like to think I scared him off. And then I'm like, I'm gonna put down the most bold sentry you'll ever see. And this demo will have none of my shit, so I put down another one. There comes the medic, and okay. And my sentry died. Exploded. Violent death of buildings. You can see my team is not pushing. We got a grip forward hold. We got two level threes. Uh, my teleporter is still now level three. And see, I'm helping the other guy. And there we go, victory! Alright, so that was how to win casual. Pretty, uh, pretty fun game. I had 122 points at the end of this game. You can't see the stats or score screen. So yeah, check out the other videos, subscribe, and I'll see you next week sometime.